All right, so now that we got all the fundamentals, we can basically navigate through our worksheets and workbooks and ranges and cells. Let's try to do something more useful, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my script editor. I'll add a module to this file. So insert module. I'm going to create a subroutine. I'm just going to say copy data. And for a start, what we'll do, we'll just create another worksheet here. I'm going to call this target book. And to get started with this, we'll just do a simple copy paste. So I want to go here, select some data, copy it, go to my target book and paste. How do we usually paste? Generally speaking, we just select our data, we copy our data. And once we have this copied, we go to our other worksheet, we click in a cell where we wanna start pasting. So if I wanna start pasting, for example, from the second row, I would click on the second cell. Now, if I wanna start from A1 cell, I would click A1, right click and paste, and that will pretty much paste our data. I'm gonna undo this. Let's try to create a script that will do this. So I'm gonna hit escape to get out of this copy mode. Go to my script editor. The first thing we need to do, we need to select this range of data. So basically that's from A1 through F15. Let's just target the range. So I'm gonna do range A1 through F15. And on our range, we have a method copy. Now, once we have the range copied, we want to go to our target book. So we can go to the different worksheet by referring to the name or the index. So we can do sheets two, that will be number two worksheet, or I can go with a name. So I'll just do target book, which is the name of my second worksheet. And to go to that worksheet, we'll do select. Now in that worksheet, we want to click in the cell where we're going to paste this data. So if I want to be in A1 cell, I would do range A1 select. And finally, we want to paste. So you paste. So at this point, when we go to this target book, that will be our active sheet. So our active sheet has a method paste. So there we go. Let's try this. So I'm going to go ahead and run this code. And you can probably see already that we basically just copied this data. We went to this target book and we have that data here. Now we probably want to fit this column so it doesn't look weird. So we'll want to just resize, for example, these different columns to make sure the data fits. So let's add that to our code. I'm gonna first just clear all of this so we can test this again. Go back to my data spreadsheet and open my code. To make sure that this code works, see, we copy the range from our active sheet. Now, I may want to add a piece of code here to make sure that first we go to that sheet called data to make sure that even if we run it from a different tab, it goes to this tab first and then does the copying. So again, I'll do sheets, name of the worksheet I want to select and just do select to make sure I go to that worksheet first. All right, so now let's fit those columns. So I'm gonna first select those columns and the columns I need to do from A through F, those will have a method auto fit that will basically be similar to double clicking on top so it fits the column. So let's try this. I'm gonna go to target book, there's nothing here. And if I just run this, code, you should be able to see how we were able to copy and paste the data and auto fit all the columns so that data fits and everything looks better. So let's improve our code. I'm going to go ahead and clear this again. So what I want to do, I want to make sure that my code is going to run fine if I have more or less data in my data worksheet. So instead of having this hard-coded range that goes from A1 through F15, I want to find however many rows exist in the data and pick them up. 
So we need to replace this 15 with the last row number, which means after we select our data worksheet, we need to find what's the last row in that particular worksheet. And we can do that by finding the last row using one of the methods. I'm gonna use find method. And for that, we're gonna take our cells collection, which refers to this entire worksheet cells. And then we'll do find method. And this find method has what we're searching for, which will be the star. What's the starting cell to search, which will be cells one, one, A1 cell, comma. Then where we wanna search Excel for less, what type of search we're doing. So I think that's the correct partial match. I'm gonna move this this way. And then we have the search order which is by rows, Excel by rows. And finally, we have the previous, and we don't want this to be case sensitive, so we'll do false. And we have to type that correctly. So that's the line that's gonna find us the last row in this data worksheet. And now that should be this number 15, good. So now instead of having this 15 here, I'm gonna remove that 15 out of here and I'm gonna concatenate with an ampersand operator the last row to this range. So basically it's gonna be from A1 through F and whatever this last row ends up being in that particular spreadsheet. And then we'll copy it, go to the other spreadsheet, we'll just select A1 cell and paste. All right, let's test this. So I'm gonna add a little more data. So now I have about 25 rows, nothing on this one. Let's run the script. Okay, so we got an error. Let's see where the error is. So see the last row, something is wrong. So what's wrong is that I forgot to get the row here after I get the cell. So dot row here in the end. Okay, let's try this again, just to make sure there's nothing going on here. Looks good. I'm gonna run this code again. And we have it all copied and aligned and we have 25 rows of data. Moving to the next level, what I'm gonna do next I'm going to just get rid of all of this data, but I'm gonna keep the labels on top. So what I want to do this time, I want to just select the data without the labels. So starting from row two up to whatever the last row is. And then I want to go and copy and paste my data. But what I want to do, I want this to be that I can just keep copy pasting to this spreadsheet over and over which means when I copy and paste the first time, we should paste it here and it should paste some data. And then the next time after that, we want our data to paste right below our new data. So what that means is before we paste, we need to figure out where we want to paste. So before we just said to paste to A1 cell, where we just basically said, go to that A1 cell and paste. Now, instead of going to A1 cell, we have to figure out which cell we have to go which for the first time it's gonna be A2, but next time it's gonna be a different one. So what that means is that before we paste, we also have to figure out what's the last row in this workbook. So I'm gonna go back. We need to figure this out after we go to that target book. Right here, we have the line that selects the worksheet, target book. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this line and I'm gonna paste it right here. The only difference here is that I want to just give it a different variable name. So this last row is different than this last row. So I'm gonna say LR target, which will be the last row for our target worksheet. Now this will find the last row, which in this particular case, when we look at this, it will be one. But we don't want to paste to the last row. We want to paste to the next row after the last one. So that would be the second row instead of the first row. So let's go ahead and do that. So now here, instead of using range method to select, I'll use cells. So if I wanted to basically rewrite the same code, I would say one one dot select to select a one cell 
using sales object instead of using range object. One being the row number, one being the column number. Now what I'm gonna do instead of this one, I'm gonna use the target variable we've created right here on top. So just a simple copy paste. And again, this will be the last row. I want to go one after the last row. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add one to that particular target row. So if it finds the row is number one, it's gonna add one and it's gonna go two. If it finds it's 15, it's gonna add one and it's gonna be 16 and so on. All right, so let's move it here. Let's remove this extra lines. Let's just go ahead and run this to see what happens. So right now in our data worksheet, I have about what, 25 rows. I'm gonna cut down for this first test a little bit. So let me just delete all of that. So we'll have what, nine rows. Well, actually eight because the first one is our headers. So let's run our code. I'm gonna run it from this side, macros, copy data. I'm gonna run. We did copy and paste, but we copied the headers as well, apparently, when we were doing the copy, so I forgot to adjust that. I'm gonna go ahead and clear all of this and go back and adjust my code. So instead of copying from A1, we need to start copying from A2 to not include our headers. The rest should be fine the way it is. So I'm gonna go back and redo this again. And we have our data copied over from here. So now let's just add a little more data here just for testing. So if this works correctly, it should copy all of this, which is 16 rows and add it to our current nine. So let's do that. I'm gonna just run the same code and you can see that we got exactly that. So 16 plus nine, 25. So that 25 is the last row now. So if I go back, for example, and get rid of all of this, and now we have three rows here. If I run this again, it should add three more. So it should go until 28. So let's do this again. So this way we find where we want to paste the data, we go to that particular position and we paste. So one thing I don't like about this is that every time I run the code, it goes to this like bottom and this whole thing is selected. So I'm gonna end my code by going back and selecting A1 cell in the end. So I'll just go back after we fit the data, we'll just do cells one, one, which is A1 cell and we'll just select that cell to make sure we have a nice setup and we go to the top. All right, so now we have what, like 28 rows. I'm gonna just run this code and see how we get back to the top nicely. And we have our extra rows copied over from this data tab all over again. So that's all good. Now the last thing I wanna show you is how we can modify this code a little bit to copy and paste from a different workbook to another workbook. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move this target book to a different workbook. I'm gonna right click here, move or copy, basically just move it to a new book, hit okay. So now I have this book one, which has the target workbook, and I have data, which is in this workbook called search, that's where our data is supposed to come from. So I'm just gonna rename this one. Instead of book one, I'm gonna save it as a different file name. It's good enough. I called it final. The other one is called search. I'm gonna go back to my code. So the first thing we want to do in this code, we want to make sure that we go to the right workbook to copy the data from. And my original data workbook is called search. I'll just do workbooks and in this collection we'll look for a workbook called search and we'll make sure we'll activate that workbook to make sure that's our active workbook we're gonna grab workbook called search 
which is this one. We're gonna make it active. And then in that workbook, we'll select the data worksheet, which is in the background right there. And then we're gonna find the last row. We're gonna copy the data. Now, after we copy the data, we need to move to this other workbook for pasting. So here, I'm pretty much just gonna copy paste this line. And we're gonna activate this workbook called final. And once we have that workbook active, we'll basically make sure we go to target book worksheet in that workbook, and then we'll find the last row. The rest is pretty much the same. So it's gonna be same set of actions. So just for us to see what's happening here, let me just clear some of this stuff from our target workbook. So now I just have one row here in the background. You can see we have three rows from the other workbook. Now I'm just gonna run that code. Click run and there we go. So we went to the other workbook, we copied it, we came back to this and we paste. If I run it again, that thing is gonna happen all over again. Copy paste another time. So yeah, from this point on, you can see we have different possibilities. So you can target your workbooks by using the name of the workbook, by the index, and the same with sheets. So if you did watch previous videos, you already know how to make changes to this. That's a little bit about copying and pasting some data using our VBA code. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.